once upon a time, there was a small troll called Ruby, who lived under a bridge in Kalin. Each day, as the sun rose, she would go and have a drink in the river. And then she'd hide under the bridge and wait. And after a while, a shepherd would come, leading some sheep over the bridge. So she would leap out, shriek loudly, and the shepherd's dog would run away. At which point, she'd grab one of the sheep, throw it over the bridge onto the rocks, and rush down and eat it. So she had a sheep every day and gradually grew big and strong. And as she grew stronger, she became more ambitious. Because by the afternoon, cow herds would come by, bringing herds of highland cows with long orange hair and big sharp horns. Now Ruby was a red-headed troll. And the cows were the same colour as her. And she always fancied a bit of beef. But she'd never been brave enough to leap out and eat a cow. Because she was afraid of their great big long horns, which were very, very pointy. And she thought they would just shake their heads at her and stick a horn in her. So even though she was a troll, till she was eight feet tall, she was quite scared of them. But once she was eight feet tall, she felt she could easily pick up a, tro a cow and throw it onto the rocks b below. So she decided that the next day she was going to eat a cow instead of a sheep. The sun rose, the sheep went over the bridge, and she climbed up to the top of the bridge to wait for the cows. But no cows came. The next day, not even any sheep came. And she wondered, why are there no cows? Why are there no sheep? So the following day, she saw a cow herd coming back the other way. She didn't like eating people, so she decided she wouldn't eat him. But she climbed up the outside of the bridge and roared at him. Why are there no cows? He said, oh, I've taken them all to the train station. Cows don't walk. Glasgow anymore. They go by train. What's the train, she said. Well, you go down the glen there, you'll see a new bridge with a railway line going over it. Well, that's what she did. She crawled through the gorge, holding on to the tree trunks at the side, until the gorge got narrower and narrower and steeper and steeper. And then high above her, she saw the arches of a big viaduct. And she thought, ah, that's the bridge the cows are going over now. All I've got to do is climb a hundred feet up the legs of the viaduct, leap out in front of the cows and eat them. So that's what I'll do tomorrow morning. When the sun rose, she was getting really hungry because it was two days since she'd eaten the sheep. So she decided to climb the side of the, the viaduct up to the top in good time. When she got to the top, she heard a, a noise like this. Ah, she said, that sounds like heavy cow breathing. And then what should come round the corner but something black and very steamy. She roared, Stop! I'm going to eat you all up. But 
but the train took no notice. And went rushing past. So she was still hungry. She waited for the next train. And saw that the carriages, or the cu the trucks, were full of cows. And they went past much too fast for her to eat them. So she headed off down the, li the line to see where it was going. And after a while, she came to a big forestry area where trees were being cut. And the man looking after the forestry said, You look a big strong lass. We could do with you to carry the trees down to the river. So that's what she did. Each day she carried trees down to the river and they gave her something to eat at the end of it. Then she began to wonder, why am I only getting a meal? The other people have got clothes as well. And I'm just having to eat the food and wear my long, orange, hairy skin. Why can't I have some clothes? And she asked the other workers there. They said, oh, you can only have clothes if you've got some money. She said, why haven't I got any money? He said, have they not been paying you? She said, no, they just give me some mutton at the end of every day. I said, you should be getting wages as well. So she went to the foreman and said, why haven't you been paying me? And they said, you're just a troll. You don't need to be paid. And she said, if you don't pay me, I'll eat you all up. And he said, OK, OK, well, we'll pay you as well. So from then on, she was paid. She decided to walk into Aberfoyl and buy some clothes. And as she walked down the high street, she looked at the windows. And there were some nice warm trousers and a nice woolly sweater. And she thought, I would like a pair like that. So she bent her head down so she could squeeze into the shop and said, Can I have a sweater and a pair of trousers? And the lady selling in the shop said, yes, you can, but you're an awfully large troll. Most of the trolls we sell to are size 12. You're size 24. We will have to get three pairs of trousers and join them together. So that's what they did. They got three pairs of trousers from the back, a pair of scissors, cut them open and sewed them all together. And she was able to go out and she was proud as proud can be. And she built herself a little hut out of the spare logs, lived on the side of the hill by Aberfoyle. And if you go to Aberfoyle, you can see her now.